Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steven. Today, we've got a mom who is on absolute fire in front of a woke school board over the whole issue of transgender ideology. You're going to absolutely love what she said that left them speechless, but even more so, you're going to love what we're all about to learn together. You are not going to want to miss this. A recent school board meeting in Arizona centered on the controversy surrounding a transgender school board member who parents were concerned about using the girls' restrooms when attending the local elementary school. Now, some of you may know this is the same school board meeting that a woman by the name of Lindsey Graham, no relation to the feckless Republican senator, stood up in a cat outfit to demonstrate absurdity by being absurd. And I am a cat. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. By show of hands, I'm curious, uh, how many of you believe and confess that I'm a cat? Great. I am, by show of hands, I'm curious, how many of you believe that your child or a child from this school would believe that I'm actually a cat? No one. There was, however, another mother who spoke passionately and brilliantly on the concerns that innumerable parents have over the issue of transgenderism coming into the lives of their children when they're so young. So I would think, you know, that we're, we're, we're all going to have to answer to a much high, higher power for our role in the destruction, and it is the destruction of children. We all had our issues growing up. We all maybe had some idiosyncrasies, some things, problems that we had growing up, but I don't think we were ever told that the reason why you have these problems is because you're really a girl. Or you're really a boy. Basically telling them that God, the God of uh, the universe, he made a mistake when creating you. And man, fallible man, we know what's right. And we can change you into what you really should be. So I think, you know, we all need to take a deep look within ourselves and know that you will stand before a, a higher power. And you will be asked about your role in what is, is the destruction of children in this generation. Thank you. Now, what I found so fascinating here in her presentation was how she highlighted a major contradiction inherent in trans ideology. You saw it in a number of interviews with the trans board member who was of such concern to these parents, stating over and over again, I didn't choose this. I didn't choose to be transgender. This is thoroughly natural. I was born this way. How dare you demand I suppress this? And yet, you'll note from that mom's testimony, that 11-year-old girl was being told by her teachers that her natural impulse of aversion to grown men staring at her as she's getting undressed needs to be suppressed. Suppression of natural feelings does not leave the equation when it comes to trans ideology. It simply gets repositioned. But if suppression of natural sentiments is morally wrong, then why is this 11-year-old girl being forced to do precisely that? Hey gang, this year my family and I have decided to declare 2023 as the year of family preparedness at the Turley household. And I'm starting off this new year covering all my bases. We're talking food stores, survival kits, and everything my family needs to make sure that we'll survive whatever this upcoming year throws at us. I recently interviewed TJ Johnson, the founder and CEO of Ready Project. And if you haven't watched that interview, you've got to. I'll link it down below for you. This interview will single-handedly tell you why I'm placing preparedness at the top of my priorities list. And I invite you to join me this year in my resolution of family preparedness and take the immediate steps to get yourself and your family prepared today so you can eat tomorrow. And if you act right now, you can get to take advantage of Ready Project's special offer just for my listeners with huge limited time savings. So don't wait. Click on that link below right now to learn more about what my plan is and what I'm going to be doing to make sure my family has all the emergency essentials that will be needed this year. Join me. Take action. Click below and let's get our families prepared together. Now, what that mom brought up there was really just quite brilliant because in the end, she brought this to its ultimate outworking. What's happening at that school board meeting was literally a clash of civilizations. It was a war of two fundamentally antithetical worldviews. One of my favorite authors is C.S. Lewis. 
And he once described very profoundly the key difference between the classical Christian world and our contemporary modern secular world. Lewis argued that in the classical Christian world, the world before industrialization, modernity, and secularism, the fundamental question for man was, how do I conform my soul to the divine meaning and purpose all around me? You see, in the classical world, the Christian world, the universe was filled with divine meaning and purpose. And so the fundamental question was, how do I conform my life into a harmonious relationship with that divine meaning and purpose? And the answer to that question was through cultivating a life of wisdom and virtue and prayer. However, for modern man, the question is basically inverted. Modern man's not interested in how to conform the soul to divine reality, doesn't believe in divine reality. Rather, modern man asks the question, how do I conform the world to my own desires and my own ambitions? In one world, God is at the center. And we are ultimately accountable to him. In the other world, I am at the center. And I answer to no one but myself. The world will be conformed through science, through technology, and increasingly through woke politics. The world will be conformed to me. That's what I found so profound about that mother's testimony. She really understood in the end that this is a clash of civilizations. It's not a clash between tolerance and intolerance or inclusion or exclusion or suppression versus liberation. This is ultimately about two fundamentally different conceptions of reality, of what's good and true and beautiful. And parents across the nation are more and more rising up, ready to defend their children and indeed their world. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on Bill Maher crushing the Democrats on woke indoctrination in the schools. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.